update the radioactive decay law as an exponential function and also define the decay constant. Lambda is the decay constant. It's the probability of a nucleus decaying in one second. N is the number of undecayed nuclei, in other words the number that are left that have not decayed. Delta N divided by delta T is the rate of change of N, in other words the number of nuclei that are decaying per second. This will depend on the number that are there in the first place. It will also depend on the likelihood, the probability of any one nucleus decaying in a second. So uh, delta N divided by delta T, which is the activity, delta N divided by delta T is equal to negative lambda N. Notice the negative is because the number is going to reduce because these decay into other nuclei and um, so the total number will be reduced. So this is the uh, exponential decay equation. So N naught is the original value, the original number of nuclei. N is the value at time t, the number of nuclei left at time t. t is time. T half is the half-life. This is the time taken for half the nuclei to decay. And lambda is the decay constant, the probability of any particle, any nucleus, decaying in a second. Here we have an, a specific example of this equation. N is the number of nuclei that are left. N naught is the original number, which is 1,000 in this case, starts at 1,000. Uh, lambda is 0 0.05. This is the decay constant. This is the probability of any nucleus decaying in one second. And, uh, and of course it's negative, which means that it's uh, exponential decay and not growth. So the number is reduced. So this is the number that are left after time t. This is the original number at time t is equal to 0 and this is the decay constant. Derive the relationship between decay constant and half-life. So remember these terms. This is the uh, activity. Lambda is the decay constant. This is the exponential decay equation. So we need to do a derivation of the half-life. So we'll start with the equation. n is equal to n naught e to the minus lambda t. After one half-life, how many will be left? Well, by definition, you start off with n naught. After one half-life, you will have half of that. In other words, n naught divided by 2. So n naught divided by 2 is equal to n naught e to the minus lambda t half. Then we divide by n naught. We end up with half is equal to e to the minus lambda t half. Next is to find the reciprocal, in other words we flip both sides, so half is the, find the reciprocal of half, find the reciprocal of this, it's going to be the same but the negative will become positive. So 2 is equal to e to the lambda t half. We want to get rid of the exponential function so we find the natural log of both sides log of 2 is equal to lambda t half and then we need to isolate uh, t half and this is the derivation so that t half is equal to the natural log of 2 divided by lambda what this means that as lambda increases as the likelihood the probability of a nucleus decay increases, it means that this value increases, which means you're dividing by a larger value, so the half-life will be shorter. So it will decay very quickly if the probability is high. 